And still on climate change mitigation, a group of women from Nairobi's Kibira Slam have joined the Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance, PACJA, to enhance their participation in climate change adaptation initiatives. This involves leveraging on technological advancement such as transformative agricultural practices and innovative skills that are suitable for the African setting. Women and children are the most vulnerable to succumb to the effects of climate change, such as drought. It is for this reason that the Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance, in celebrating the International Women's Day, held an art exhibition to empower women on coping with climate change for a better future. To make it worse, women are the most vulnerable. We find that women depend most on the ecosystems, we depend on forests, we depend on the water around us to survive. So if we don't speak as women, then we get more affected. Remember, women, we depend more on agriculture, we depend um, on, uh, on uh, energy, we depend on, uh, on uh, other sources of livelihoods. Under the theme framing the future African women in the context of climate crisis, the women called for collective responsibility in mitigating the adverse effects of climate change. Ndiye amekupatia rusa upande wewe unataka unaona upande mahindi kwa sababu gani utaleta chakula kwa watoto ukiwa na mahindi pale ama na miogo ama na mtama au utaenda kuchukua pesa badala ya kufanya biashara ukinunua hizi vitu utakuwa na chakula sasa biashara utafanya italipa school fees na yeye anakuambia ulime miwa miwa utalima utakubali na utachukua hiyo pesa that the welfare of the earth is our welfare. So when we take care of the earth, the earth will also take care of us. Women were also encouraged to join merry-go-rounds, use environmentally friendly cooking jikos, maintain healthy diets, and most importantly, fight for their right to education. Our promise for you is that uh, we to see how we can forge a hand, work together, change will start from Kibra here. Yes. And it will, it will start from you. Yes. And uh, Arnold Feather for Lunchtime News.